vulnerable to hackers. The FBI is investigating claims made by a computer expert, Chris Roberts. He says he has compromised up to 20 commercial flights. Roberts recently appeared on Varney and Company discussing the danger posed to flyers and if airlines are taking the threat seriously. I would argue they are downplaying the risks. I mean, we've offered to sit down with uh, both Boeing and Airbus on numerous occasions. We've offered to sit down and spend time with them. Wow, here now is aviation expert Oliver McGee. He is the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Transportation for Technology Policy. That means you're the guy. This is basically your space. First of all, do you believe him? Well, yes, I think we have a real concern on aviation safety and security. Uh, transportation is about moving people, ideas, and things. And right now, in this uh, dramatic event, uh, we're talking about people in the cabin coming up with the idea through a laptop or an iPad to uh, virtually enter the cockpit and aircraft controls. In German Wings, we saw that uh, we were really discussing about what is a locked cockpit door and basically post 9-11 protocols uh, in access to the locked cockpit. Now, in this United case, we're talking about virtual access to the cockpit, and that's a big security breach of it, concern. It is. I mean, it's tremendous. Do you believe, he says he was able to access the plane's navigational system and he caused the craft to veer sideways briefly mid-flight. Do you think he was really able to do that? Oh, absolutely. He was using what is called the infotainment system, uh, connecting through an Ethernet cable mm -hmm. into his Mac Air book, uh, Pro Book. And basically, uh, through the boxes that are underneath the seats, he was able to access the flight uh, uh, fuel balancing system, which is the specific fuel consumption, and basically control the thrust of the aircraft. Uh, and look at all, uh, controls of, of, the, of the avionics as well. Uh, this is a significant breach in the cabin, virtually, not physically. Is it surprising to you? Did you already know this could be done? Well, no. <laughs> uh, it was a surprise to me. Wow. But it does raise a concern. Uh, air, airline business is big business, and large corporations, particularly in their corporate governance boardrooms, are concerned about big data and data analytics. And we're talking about cybersecurity right now that is breaching big data and data analytics. What we learn from the airline industry to control this is very significant for big business. What, and more important, he, more, before more I run out of time, I want to ask yeah. you, though, would this make you nervous to get on a plane today now that you know this? Well, I think right now that the FAA is going to be looking at that for all passenger nervousness. Uh, we're going to be looking at what we call uh, digital access to information to passengers and what okay. they can do with phones and, and, and laptop computers right now. So look for the FAA to do some rulemaking on this. I hope so, because I'll tell you, it's making me nervous, Oliver. Thank you so much.